So I've been gone for less than 24 hours and I find out, well, we got surprising superstars coming over to Raw. One superstar, thankfully, goes over to SmackDown. One superstar stays on SmackDown. And we have a new champion. So, let's, let's just get into this discussion because I, I'm completely shocked right now. This is not a Raw review. This is, this is just me talking out of my ass. Alright, this is me. Giving you guys my picks on who's gonna go to SmackDown Live since we had a lot of people coming over to Monday Night Raw. You know, we had about 19 superstars jump ship to Raw. We had Mahal, Jinder Mahal, the United States Champion. We had Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn finally uh, coming over to Raw thanks to Stephanie McMahon. The one good thing that Stephanie McMahon will ever have done in her WWE run. Uh, Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre shockingly made his return to Monday Night Raw with Dolph Ziggler, which I don't know why, but. That's, uh, I, I, I don't know. Natalia Baron Corbin, the glorious Bobby Roode, Chad Gable by himself. Hmm. American Alpha? Who knows? Or maybe a feud between the two. Uh, we got the Riot Squad, Mojo Riley, Zack Ryder, Breezango, The Ascension, and Mike Kanellis. All coming over to Monday Night Raw in the Superstar Shakeup. Raw signees are the Optus of Pain, Ember Moon, No Way Jose, and Bobby Lashley. So, let's just get that cleared up, alright? And we find out that on Raw, Jeff Hardy, well, I found out this morning, Jeff Hardy has become the new United States Champion by defeating Jinder Mahal, because Jinder Mahal talks shit. He's like, oh, I could beat anybody behind there in the back. And then Jeff Hardy came out and just twist the fate, Swanton, one, two, three. So, those are the new superstars that came over to Raw. Now, I'm going to give you guys my picks that should come over to SmackDown Live. Now, I'm going to look at the Raw roster right here on Wikipedia because WWE.com, their, their website is too fucking slow. So, I'm not going to go there. Uh, so, I'm going to get the Raw roster. And I already have a couple of people in mind to go over. I didn't really think of Natalia coming over to Raw. I forgot about Natalia. I'm sorry. It's just, well, is it, is it, is it my fault? <laughs> is it my fault? No. Naomi should have went over to Raw too. But I guess, you know, maybe she's with you so. So, you know, I, like, you know, family. So I guess maybe that's why they didn't split. Um, I didn't really fuck. I didn't really think about that. that, that that's my bad. Um, but yeah. Let's get on with this. Okay, who's gonna go to SmackDown Live? Okay, so my picks are. Oof, now, some of my picks won't make sense because the matches that are announced at the Greatest Royal Rumble event. So I'm just gonna give you guys my picks anyway. Now, I wanna give you guys my picks starting now. My first pick would be the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. Well, since The Miz is on SmackDown, at Seth Rollins, because The Miz is going to get a rematch for the Intercontinental title, so it kind of makes sense to put Rollins with the SmackDown brand, plus the Intercontinental title seems a perfect fit for SmackDown Live. Honestly, the way how they should do things with Raw and SmackDown, Raw should be, you know, as it is, you know, the entertainment, you know, whatever show, and SmackDown should be the little entertainment, but focused on wrestling show. Like, it should have been, like, it has been in 2016 you know when the draft began but Seth Rollins coming over to SmackDown Live just, feel, just feels right to me you know I mean I've, I've done it before you know in 2K17 I brought Rollins to SmackDown as the WWE Champion blah 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 etc etc I go watch my channel anyway Seth Rollins coming over to SmackDown with the title facing the likes of AJ Styles Daniel Bryan Shinsuke Nakamura this one that one that one this one please sir Please, sir, come on. Come on, you, you, you can't tell me you do not want to see the architect on the blueprint. Next one, my next picks are Gallows and Anderson because they desperately need to go over to SmackDown Live. Now, they could join up with the likes of the phenomenal AJ Styles so we could have the club again. I mean, that would be cool seeing AJ Styles with the WWE Championship and then you got, you know, then you have... Gallus and Anderson going after the tag team championships. Come on now, come on, you can't beat that. Come on, that that just that just, that just feels great to me. So my third pick would be Finn Balor. Holy shit, the entire club 
the entire BC, the original BC, all together on one shelf. First of all, the feuds you could get between Styles and Balor, that's number one. Number two, then they can join forces, the whole club. Good grief, tell me that doesn't sound good to me. Tell me that doesn't sound good to you, please tell me, okay? Finn Balor with the club in Gallows and Anderson, along with Seth Rollins, all coming over to SmackDown. Jesus Christ, dude. Three picks, four people, that is phenomenal, okay? My number four would have to go to... I would like to see Elias jump ship to SmackDown. Why? I mean, Monday Night Raw, well, I mean, they got a lot of top talent on Raw. Where's Elias going to fit? Is Elias going to get time on television? I mean, I know it's a three-hour show, but is he going to get... Is he going to be in a prominent role? I feel like on SmackDown, he will be focused a lot. But on Raw, he might be lost in the shuffle. And that's what we all feared about Elias. So I think if Elias went to SmackDown, maybe he won't be lost in the shuffle. So number four goes to Elias. Number five, I don't care if he's injured or not, he needs to move. Dean Ambrose, bring him back to SmackDown. Now, the only negative of Dean Ambrose coming back to SmackDown is that he might feud with The Miz again and might go after the Intercontinental Championship one day again. But the big positive of him coming over to SmackDown, if some, by some miracle, if they make him heal, go after Seth Rollins. If Dean Ambrose goes after Seth Rollins, right, he feuds with Seth. Because Seth Rollins is the prime suspect of getting this guy injured. Yeah, 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 Samoa Joe did the damage, but he did more damage by, you know, crushing the arm. But Dean Ambrose against Seth Rollins sounds very good to me. Remember when Dean Ambrose was in uh, the mix when Rollins dive onto the outside and then Ambrose got crushed into the, the barricade and you saw him with it holding onto his arm like he was paid back in December, right? Remember that? Yeah, Seth Rollins is the reason for that. He dove onto everybody like, like he needed to anyway. He dives onto everybody, Ambrose got caught, and boom, he got hurt. So, Dean Ambrose, could, they could use that as like leverage for Dean Ambrose to be like, see, you're the one that got me hurt, I'm after you, fuck you, so yeah, and then you can take the Intercontinental title if that's necessary or not, that's what I would do at least, uh, so Dean Ambrose would come over to SmackDown, that's my fifth pick. I would not be surprised to see G Axel and Dallas come over to SmackDown Live, number, uh, number six would be Axel and Dallas, because... I mean, yeah, they showed little tease there, you know, Dallas and Axel leaving Miz high and dry at the end of the, at the, end of the, the eight, ten-man fucking tag team match, good grief, on Monday Night Raw last night. I would not be surprised if they show up on SmackDown to help the Miz against the likes of Seth Rollins. I would not be surprised. I would be shot up. Number six, The Bar. Why not? I mean, The Bar has done everything on Monday Night Raw. The bar has dominated Monday Night Raw on the tag team scene, you know, over the past year. So why not have them uh, come over to SmackDown Live? Plus Cesaro, I'm pretty sure Cesaro would be happy as fuck to come over to, to the blue brand. Because remember, remember on the draft, he was pissed that he was on Raw and he wanted to be on SmackDown because he felt like SmackDown was the wrestling show. So he felt, if he come over to SmackDown, I mean, come on. Come on, the bar versus the Usos again. Come on, that, that doesn't sound good to you. The Bar versus The New Day, again, I mean, come on, their, their match at Roadblock 2016 uh, is probably one of my favorite tag matches ever in WWE, um, so, The Bar versus a lot of people, the, imagine The Bar versus The Bludgeon Brothers, oh my, that's a car crash waiting to happen, you can't deny that. My number seven pick would have to go to, he should be returning anytime soon in Big Cass. Okay, Big Cass or Colin Cassidy, whatever you want to call him, he should be good to go. He should make his way to SmackDown Live eventually. I mean, honestly, now that he got that, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> that way out of the way, and then to get and then to Amari, so he should be good. Big Cass should make his way back to WWE, and, uh, and I think SmackDown Live will be a fresh of breath air. A new, new. Like he, like a new brand should be a new opportunity for Big Cash to shine on. So let's hope he'll be coming over to the blue brand. I think that's it. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Ah, boy, one three gym. I feel so good to come back. I know it's been a day, but fucking the. I love I love Canada. I do. I love Toronto. Okay, I do. But there's this one 
fucking thing I hate. It's the fucking weather, dude. We're in spring, yet I'm getting a snowstorm. Fuck out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Boy123Gym. And I'll see you guys next time. And I'm out. Later.